Welcome back to Camus Classics. As I said when we did the transmission, we hoped it didn't snowball. Unfortunately it did, as you can see here on the ground. The 7.5 10 bolt rear end is now out of it. Uh, we're going to be putting a 10 bolt in that's a factory one. This one locked up and is no longer working. So uh, unfortunately we didn't get taking it out and stuff. We're thrashing. We're trying to make our local parade. We've signed up for it. We're hoping to make it. Uh, so we were thrashing trying to get the new rear end ready to go and in. Uh, so we didn't have time to film. I mean, it was just a, it was hurry uh, because we have to get this in. Okay, so this one's a 8.5 10 bolt, uh, non -pausey. Um but it's what I already had it, so uh, we did get it painted and we're ready to get it installed. So uh, before we put any of this on, we've got to put the brakes on. So that door here. Um, got to lower it down a little. The reason we can't bolt this in is this bracket attaches to the bottom, so we have to have the brake calipers in place before. Okay. 
Uh, you do have to remove the axles for strictly for this dust shield. That's on. And, uh, we'll go ahead and do the other side and come back to you. Okay, so we got the axles in. Uh, we'll put a link to our video. It's, it was the same process as we did in the Oldsmobile. Uh, for C-clip axles, same thing, we'll just uh, put a link to that in our description. Uh, so we're ready to put our calipers on. Uh, we did put our rotors on, we did put uh, two lug nuts just to hold it. And we may have to spread the bag that looks like we're going to have to. We'll have to find our tool and come back to you. Okay, so we got our tool. If you've never done these type, uh, let me see if I can hold it up and show you. So if you're used to the old style brakes, um, those you just push in, you can use a port of power with a duck bill. Uh, you can use a big C clamp. Um, these ones actually are the newer style. You have to have this specialty tool and what you do is you have to keep pressure on it with this one while turning this one. And what it does is it um, they ratchet in. You just kind of have to give it a little turn. Just tighten that up, a little turn. They're kind of really a pain in the butt. Um, we didn't need to go very far, so let's see if that'll get us. Um, got about a half a turn on it. So put our... Pads back in. And that was enough. Like I said, we didn't have to go very far. And run our pins in. And we gotta fix that so that the Brake pad will hold on there. Dropped it and can't find it. Found it. Okay. 
So that's locked in that time. part's going to be getting this brake line into this clip, uh, but we'll do that um, and pull these off. Actually, because we changed our axle, we just want to make sure that we're uh, good on our brakes, that we're even, and we are, so we're good. Uh, we can pull these off. Uh, we got to hook up the shock. A little sketchy on this one, but we'll do it. And grab our jack. Just a bit more. Easy when it's up there in the to where it can be tightened.
Okay. Okay, so we're going to have to stop and regroup. Our studs are not long enough, so we're going to have to get longer studs. Welcome back. Um, we got the dry, uh, we got everything in. Uh, notice we don't have the back cover on. That's because we are broken again. Uh, what we've got is the drive line now is about three quarters of an inch too long. So we have to have it cut down. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to take this to the parade. That was the whole reason we were trying to get it ready. Um, now that we've got it this far, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get the drive line cut back down again. Uh, we had to have it cut down for the changing of the transmission. Now we're gonna have to cut it again for the fitting of the uh, 8.2 10 volt rear end. Uh, should be a great improvement over the seven and a half. I'm much more happy with this because this is what would have come in the car. Uh, but I am going to look and see if I can find a fancy cover or chrome cover or something to cover that. So we'll put the other one on just to uh, keep dirt and dust and debris out. Take the driveline back to the driveline shop. Um, because this is something we drive on the road, we don't dare cut it down ourselves. Um, get it out of balance and get a vibration in the car. So we'll take it out of the driveline shop, get it fixed. Uh, I'm not going to make this in the, this one in the parade, but we will make the Oldsmobile in the parade. So uh, look for us if you're in the Oakley 4th of July parade here in Camas, Oakley, Utah area, then come see us. We'll throw you some candy. Like, share, and subscribe.